Hi there, it's Andrew from BackcountrySkiingCanada.com. We are here at Callahan Country's Journeyman Lodge, as you can see behind me here. Um, we're up here for four days and we're going to be doing some ski touring, but you can also cross-country ski. There's a massive uh, network of groom trails or snowshoe. Um, to get up, you can take a, take a snowcat or a snowmobile, or you can ski up yourself on AT gear or what's recommended is cross-country gear. There are a number of packages that um, the Journeyman Lodge offers. You can come in for lunch, you can come in for the single day, uh, maybe there's a two-day option, and um, I know there's a four-day option because that's what we're on now. To get more information on that, uh, check out uh, our website uh, for the full review and or the website of uh, the Journeyman Lodge. Now, this is kind of a remarkable area on the coastal range because it's a there's some kind of volcanic activity that happened here to smooth out some of the stuff, so it's not classically rocky and cliffy like a lot of close coastal stuff is. You can see behind us we're in a giant kind of bowl amphitheater kind of effect, and uh, it's just massive, all kinds of ski touring op opportunities all the way around. Just kind of nice, nice peaks, um, nice skiing, and I know that uh, all the way that way there are a number of different lakes also that the uh, cross-country um, ski trails go around. So lots of options and uh, options for cross-country, options for uh, backcountry skiing here at the Journeyman Lodge. And here we are in the dining room um, at uh, the Journeyman Lodge. Um, this is where it all happens. If you uh, spend the night, you are um, able to enjoy a delicious four-course meal and uh, Depending on the program you're with, I believe you can also um, have breakfast and be provided with a lunch. So depending on how many people are here, this dining room will fit between uh, 25 and, and 14, or uh, up to 25, put it that way. So delicious meals and uh, lovely ambiance here with the fireplace and uh, festive wreath. Here we are in the common area with the ping pong table. We got a pool table underneath here, nice crackling fire in the background. This is a great place for everybody to hang out and chill if they want to. Um, let's take a little look upstairs. Yeah. Here we are uh, upstairs, top floor of the Journeyman Lodge, and here you can see some great little cubby type bedrooms. Uh, another little small common area for folks. And then upstairs there, there's uh, the rooms for the guide and, and staff. And just down the hall that way, there are two, uh, two bathrooms and a fully operational shower. Okay. Here we are in one of the superior suites, and you can see that it has its own queen bed and a, and a bathroom en suite. And just so you get an overall idea of what kinds of rooms are in the Journeyman Lodge, there are three standard queens, two standard twins, two superior suites, this is one of them, and one of the uh, one solitude suite that fits eight people. Hey, it's Andrew again from BackcountrySkiingCanada.com. Just finishing up a great uh, climb up the peak opposite where uh, the Journeyman Lodge is, and we're wrapping up our trip here. Just like to say thank you very much to Brad, Ryan, Hannah, and Rebecca for. Uh, uh, being such good hosts and if you'd like to read the full review go to the website and also go to the website for other reviews trip reports forums and stuff like that thank you